Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you my completed This Is Not A Book. So here's what it looks like and if you guys would like some more information on this, I will leave um, some information in the description box and a link so you can buy your own. But I thought I would show you guys today, so I hope you guys enjoy. So on the front I just have this magazine type thing. I have um, this closure over here with a button and a charm on it. So I started this on April 14th, 2017, and I finished on November 26, 2017. So it didn't actually take me that long. Um, I just have this cupcake on this page and just some random doodles to fill in the pages. This is, this is an inconvenience take. This is not a book everywhere you go for one week. I tried and then I just decorated this with this cute um, mushroom picture. This is a recording device, so I recorded the events of my day here and made a mark every time I entered a specific room over here. Um, this one is, this is a top secret document and I was supposed to hide what it said there and I just drew this, this is not a book, hiding behind some leaves. This is a test of endurance. Hold this is not a book above your head for as long as possible. Write your time here. I just drew this guy lifting weights and also the book. This is a nature emulator. I absolutely hate this page, but oh well, whatever. It's just um, add some imagery to the scene and that's what I did. This one is, this is a challenge. Make this is not a book as big as possible. So I have this fold out tree over here. It's an apple tree, as you can see. And then on the other page, I just have some apple seeds because this side says, this is a challenge, make this is this as small as possible so this one says this is the thought garden and plant your thoughts here and then they'll grow so I did that and I have these little seeds that are super cute they actually have little seeds in them for example this is the creativity seed so I have colored sprinkles inside so this next page is this is an annoyance I had wax tape between the pages because I have marshmallow on here because when you're eating s'mores sticky marshmallows are very annoying and this page has been very annoying because it keeps on sticking together and sticking to everything so as you can see there's little bits of paper on there from other things it has stuck to. This one says this is a portable workstation and brainstorm your ideas here and attach important documents so I just decorated this with a bunch of drawings. This is a choice, pick a number and go to that page and then flip forward a few pages. I just did this really pretty um, flower design on this page. This is a transformation, come up with, with a way to permanently alter this page and change it into something completely different. So I just have a tiger and then I change the colors of it. It's not exactly the instructions, but that's the best I could think of. This is a disappearance, write or draw something here and then erase it. So I drew this bunny under here, you probably can't see, and then I erased it and I drew this little magician guy over here. This is a limited edition art piece. Um, pretty much you're supposed to draw something in all the squares and display them in public. So that is what I did. Um, this is a blank space, think of nothing. How many examples of nothing can you think of? So I just drew or wrote nothing a bunch of times. Um, yeah. This is a voyage, um, make paper boats. So that's what I did over here. And then I made paper boats to explain the instructions which were actually drawn on here. Um, this is a secret identity. So pretty much you make an identity for whoever you want and mine was Sally Mae, a penguin scientist and that's why I drew penguins all over here. This is a scavenger hunt and pretty much it gave you a list of things to find and I put them all over this page. As you can see some of them are quite odd. Um, this is a playground. Um, use something to color this in that's really odd. I forget what I used but it was not normal and this is from a different page and it says cover a page with lines. So that is what I did on the background, which I will show you that page later on in the book. This one is a chain letter. So I made a chain letter like so. Um, this one says this is a common fill in a thought and leave it in a public place. So I cut this speech bubble out and I put a thought and left it in a public place. And then I just drew these um, speech bubbles with a bunch of words in them. This next page says, this is an action sculpture. Come up with a way to make, this is not a book, move. I attached a parachute to it, so yeah, and then I just made this background with Sharpie. Um, this is a set of directions. 
pretty much gives you some directions and then you're supposed to do them and it makes this really weird looking shape and then I just decorated around it um, it says this is a friend I just turned other objects into characters by photocopying this and gluing them on this is a factory create very small books actually I think this is the first book page I actually did in this book but um, I made a bunch of little books over here and then I just drew this picture there was something else here but I didn't like it so I covered it up with this girl picking out a book from a library this is a form of communication and um, I just drew this technology type page um, this is a concealment use this page to cover up a page you don't like which was page 126 for me so I will show you that page later on and then this is a hiding place stash your secrets here so I hid some secrets in the book not specifically in here but I just added some ribbon over there this is one of my favorite pages it is create an imaginary place so I you're they gave you this planet and you were supposed to make it your very own planet so I made mine mermaid themed called Myrmidon so I do this mermaid and mermaid tail and a bunch of other stuff this one is a time travel device so I just made mine to um, when I was in Istanbul I just drew a picture over there this one is an ethnographic study pretty much you're supposed to write about how you're an alien and how you see people and I just decorated this with this space theme this is a commitment, so I drew something in one of these boxes every day for an entire month. This is a random occurrence, drop a string on this page, trace the string, and repeat, and then I drew some little kittens playing. Um, this is a container, so I use this to carry my lunch. So I just drew these little bento boxes around here and wrote the word lunch over here. Um, this, is a lost this is a lost treasure, so I have my little treasure map in here that I made, and then a treasure chest and some pirate doodles. This is a bureaucracy, so I filled this out and I just have it flipped over because there's a bunch of personal information on there. And then this stamp over here was actually supposed to go. I glued it onto my collage page right over here. This is a border, so I made bad versus good. So I have Randall and Sully. This one, this is an embellishment, use this frame to embellish another page. So I photocopied this and put this on page 202, which you will see soon. And then I just covered it in glitter and the word embellish. This is a research project. Pretty much you're supposed to open up an encyclopedia and write about something that the first thing you see. So I wrote about um, this, as you can see. This is an escape capsule. So pretty much you're supposed to put all the things that you love onto one page. And then I have this cute little garland at the top this was actually a group activity page and i was not a fan of them because i just don't like it so i made this little closet picture with these um paper clothes that i made when i was younger this is a guest registry so i just got a bunch of people to write hello on here this is an idea formulation generator. the book gives you a bunch of instructions and then you make um, your output is like some pretty weird things. I just drew mine on this little paper thing like so and there's a pocket that you can stick it into. This is a grouping of circles, no purpose, so that's what I did. This is with watercolor and pencil crayon. This is a methodology, so pretty much you're supposed to investigate carrying things that are not books. So I do this cat carrying, this is not a book with a red bow around its neck. This is actually the last page that I completed this book. This is a habitat for microorganisms. This isn't as small as I can draw, but I think it's pretty small and really cute. And then I have these little microorganisms running around. Um, this is a television. You get to do your own programming. So pretty much you write a TV show. I wrote one about mermaids because I like mermaids. Um, but yeah. This is a dare, write a list of things you would like to try in your lifetime. So pretty much it's a bucket list. I just have this list over here. This isn't everything. Um, this one is a wishing well. So I made this one Webkins themed because when I was younger I used to play Webkins a lot and there's this game called Wishing Well 2. So I recreated that on here and I think it looks super cute. Um, this is a hidden message. Find a way to hide a message somewhere in this is not a book. And I kind of forget where I hid the message, but I know I did. 
Um, this is a map, create a map based on something in your everyday life. So I just did a map of this campsite. Um, this is a mood altering machine. So I went from bored to not bored up by doing this page because I was bored. But yeah, this is a virtual reality. So pretty much you're supposed to um, take your traits and make superheroes out of them. And I just drew them with a skyscraper landscape in the background. This is a top secret document, so pretty much gives you a bunch of instructions and there was a top secret document which I used to write this sentence, but I covered it up, so yeah. And then I also have this cool background made with magazines. This is an excerpt from another book. I got a super old book and then I put um, it in here and then I had a bunch of these cool old pictures so I glued them over there. Um, this is an excuse to avoid other things, so I wrote down a list of excuses and made it look like it was like a messy journal or something like that. This one is an interview, so I just answered all of these questions and colored, in, colored them in. This is a network of intersecting lines, so that's what I did, and then I drew this palm tree scene and I colored this in with pencil crayons. This is a public space, invite people to add something here, so I got every person from my family to add something here and then I just kind of doodled around it. This is an itinerary, go to the closest park and then it gives you a bunch of instructions and I did them and then I drew this picture of a girl under a tree and then I added some fake flowers around. This is a window, cut out a hole and place in front of a desired view. So that is what I did and there's transparency over there to make it look like a real window and then I have these curtains and I drew this chair over here. This is a moment in time so I documented this day which was on May 21st. And fun fact, there was actually no electricity that day, so that's why I was doing this. This one says concealed, and this was the page that I was supposed to conceal with another page, so I just covered it up. I forget what was there, but I didn't like it, but yeah. This is a material, conduct some experiments, so that is what I did. I have these little squares of a bunch of things to, that I just experimented on with different supplies. Um, this is a portable hole slash portal, so if I could be anywhere right now, it would have been Iceland at this point. And then I just drew this star on this circle over here. And this is a performance, so it was supposed to be while in public place, draw in a circle and color it in. So this is my circle that I colored in. This is a multi-directional unit, so it has a bunch of instructions and I followed them and then I just colored in this page. This is an inventory of your things, so I drew this little file cabinet and then these little folders have all of the inventory of stuff that I counted. Um, this is a celebration, so it gives you a set of instructions to make a celebration and then I just drew them here. So I have these little animals having a birthday party. This is a plate, place your dinner here. So I just drew what I had for lunch that day or something and then I made these little foam fruits and vegetables or food all, all around the page. This is a plot to rule the world. If you could rule the world, I would make these following changes. So I just drew that and I made it kind of like a painting theme. This is a tool and you're supposed to find 50 different ways. This is not a book, could be used as a tool. It took me a long time, but I have all 50 in here. This is a customizable object. So it gives you some tabs to put on the pages. As you can see, I did. And it gives you a bunch of things you're supposed to do like bookmarks, put stickers on pages, color the edges, which I did all of those on there. And I just drew these plants and um, yeah. This one is pretty much you're supposed to take a word from every page and make a giant sentence. And that's what I did and I used scrapbooking stickers and markers to do this. This is not a book, this is a postcard, so I just put this postcard in here. This is a restricted area, so people will want to avoid it, so I just drew this girl puking. This is a form of movement, document some type of movement, so I did a spin. This is a random adventure, go outside, there's a set of instructions. And this is what I drew, this is what I saw at my feet, and then this was a picture in here, but I just went over it with watercolor. This is a dream catcher, and I drew a dream, dream catcher like every single person who does this book does. And then, oh, I wrote my dream in her pillow. This is a school, if you could teach any class, what would it be? And mine was a figure skating school. So I have these folders full of all these plans. This page took me a long time, but I think it's super cute. This is an instrument, come up with ways 
this is not a book to be used as an instrument, so I wrote those here and then I drew a bunch of instruments. This is a sensory simulation unit. Collect five things, one for each scent. Sense. So that's what I did on here. Um, this is an outlet about things that are bothering you. So I just drew a bunch of pet peeves that I have. This is a sculpture. Use this page to create a three-dimensional dimension, object. So I photocopied this page and then I painted it and made it into this flower over here. This was another group activity that I didn't like. I also don't like this page, but whatever, I'm going to keep it in here. It's just this random collage art page. Um, this is a currency, so I made my own money over here. This is a puzzle, so the answer to the puzzle is inside of the Rubik's Cube over here. I'm not going to really show you it, but this is a structure. Um, that I created with this is not a book. So I took a picture and glued it here and then I drew these skyscrapers. This is a kit for attending board events. So I just filled that in and decorated it. This is a declaration, carve something onto this tree. So I carved, I love cats. And then I painted this with watercolor on the other side. This is a mirror, create a, a self portrait by documenting the things that define you. So I drew that. Um, I really like this page a lot. Um, this is a collection of found things, so I drew a bunch of shells on here. I'm supposed to write how they're magical, but that was taking a little bit too far for me, so I um, left it there. This is a conundrum. I'm going to not say anything about this because um, the answer is in here, but I decorate it with a bunch of scrapbooking paper and buttons and stuff. This is a fortune teller. Cut out squares to ask yes or no questions, and I put them in here. This is a mystery, so pretty much page 42 is missing and you're supposed to write about why it's missing. So here's my lovely story and I made this collage background over here. Um, this is a parallel universe, so what I did for this is I took pages from magazines and then I cut them out and made them backwards on here and it's also upside down as you can see. But I really like how that page turned out. This is an accident, so I put ink on the page and I blew around with a straw. I did that quite a bit, as you can see. Um, this is a trap, so I put this little here so people will pick up the book and turn to this page. This is a stream of consciousness, so as you can see, I wrote what I was thinking and I filled it in with watercolor. This is a landscape, so find a way to make this page blend completely with or fit into a room or landscape of your choosing. And that was my desk because at this point my desk was incredibly messy, so I just glued a bunch of things that were on my desk onto this page. I love how this one turned out. This is a chance operation, so this is where the grid was worth all of these squares, and I just glued them onto different pages and followed the instructions on them. And then this was from the page of an embellishment, if you remember that back. So this one says make a jigsaw puzzle, color a page black. This is a repetitive motion, and yet again I drew another mermaid tail. I think that's the third mermaid in here. But um, the repetitive motion was the fish scales. This is a souvenir of time spent on the planet. Make a list of things you really like. These aren't all the things, these are just some words in magazines that I liked and I put them in here. Um, this is a sensory deprivation experiment. So I just drew this girl over here. This is a wall and you're supposed to cut a hole in the wall, which I did. And I made this, I colored it like the Berlin wall. This is a language, so pretty much um, you're supposed to write a story about it. And then I just wrote these words over here and have a watercolor background. This is a collaboration. So my mom actually did this page because you're supposed to assign someone um, to do this page and she just glued a bunch of pictures onto it. This is a reproduction. So after I finished this page, I realized that I did this completely wrong, but um, I just kind of made it as a stamp. I put some paint on this side, folded it over, and then I printed on this one. So, oh well, whatever. Um, I glued on these girls, which are from a pattern, and then I also a bunch of fabric on there. This one is a list of things. This is not a book could be, so I made it a piano in this case. And then this last page has an envelope in it with a bunch of other junk in there because one of the page one of the pages suggested to do that and this page is full of stickers. And then I just have this friendship bracelet type thing that I use to close it with a charm, pom-poms and a button on it. 
and then the outside just looks like this and as you can see it is exploding so many pages have fallen out of it already but oh well and then to close it I can just button it all together so congratulations if you made it to the end of this video this was probably super long this is um, a lot of work that I put into this but if you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments and also give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and I will see you in my next video bye